Sicilian defense, canal attack, 3, and C64. BXC6. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. And c6 aids in maintaining control over the d4 and e5 squares. Bb5 engages in a knight on c6 attack while getting ready to castle king's side. d6 controls the e5 square, supports the c5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Bx c6 captures the knight, gives a check and doubles black's pawns. Recaptures. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is the final book action. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. That's good. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. That falls flat. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. 
This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is winning stuff. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. This protects a rook that was being attacked without any defense. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is quite good. Placing a rook behind a passed pawn helps keep the pawn protected as it tries to promote. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.